Hello everyone, I just want to share with you on what happened if you have low sodium okay and it's gonna help you with your um, increasing your blood pressure okay so here your body senses that you have a low sodium what happened is that your liver makes angiotensinogen so when you have a low sodium that angiotensinogen will be converted into angiotensin 1 by renin that's made by your liver uh, your kidney I'm sorry Okay, so renin is made by your kidney, and that's going to convert the angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. So now, the angiotensin 1 will be converted into angiotensin 2 by ACE. A stands for angiotensin converting enzymes. Okay, so that ACE, it floats in your blood, and it lives in your lungs. So it's going to help converting angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Hope that makes sense. And then that angiotensin 2 will go to your adrenal cortex to stimulate it, which produces aldosterone, aldosterone hormone. So that aldosterone hormone will go to your kidney, specifically in the distal tubule, to reabsorb sodium. So now that sodium will go back into your circulating system, and then it will, now that you have an increased sodium, you know that if you have um, increased sodium, it will help retain water, right? And then if you have high water being retained by the sodium, it's going to increase your blood volume and then it will increase your blood pressure. Hope that makes sense and hope that helps you a little bit. Thank you for watching.